Hello. So, I have a book haul of way too many. So we'll do Amazon. We'll, we'll do Amazon first because there's quite a few, and then we'll do book outlet. So the first one. Oh, I was waiting for this is Elise Silver Wild Love. So this is Ford Grant's book, which is Willis Brother, in case um you didn't know. Oh, I okay, let's be honest. I hope the spines create a picture because her Off to the Races series, which I'm not really sure what it's called. Um, cause I pre-ordered them. Oh, Gold Rush Ranch. I, uh, pre-ordered them. Oh, cute. So it's a pre-printed sign book, but that's still awesome. Um, I ordered the, uh, Gold Rush series. Um, I pre-ordered them cause if you pre-order them, you get a spine and it's got a picture and it's horse rearing on the spine. So I pre-ordered those. This is gorgeous. I can't wait for that. Then we have in this one. Oh, I've got two in here. Oh, one's a pre-order and one's not. So the pre-order is Megan Quinn's um, Bridesmaids for Hire. Now, I don't think we've met any of these couples. I'm not sure. She's a thick lady, though. But here she is. And then they had this one on sale for $5. So I picked it up. And it's Serenade and Megan Quinn's Love Sincerely Yours. Um, so I'm really, really excited for that one. I love Serenade. And then a bind up with Megan Quinn. And it was $5. I was like, yeah. Yes. So then I still have a really big book order to put in. Well, because on the 23rd of April, um, Carolyn Peckham and Susan Valenti's uh, Zodiac Academy book nine comes out. I'm also hoping that the bind, um, not the bind up, the novella for Lionel, it's called Lionel something. Um, I'm hoping that comes out on paperback. Then on the 29th, it's Sarah and I's um, The Pucker Next Door. And Gina Showalter's A Grave New World. It's the last one in the um, Jane Landing series. I can't remember who she writes it with, but I'm very excited for that. So now, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, um, CR Jane came along on her Instagram and stated that all the discreet covers will be going and they're going to give you new ones except for they are going to allow us to buy the wrong what is it called i can't remember what it's called um but there's one more coming out that'll be available in the discreet um for this series so this is the wrong the pucking wrong guy um This is the book two. So here is, here's the, here's, I think there's one more that's coming out and we're getting the discreet and the other paperback edition. And then it'll be obsolete after that. So this one is Walker Davis. This is the wrong, the pucking wrong date, which should be book three. Should be book three. Yes. And I think there's a book four coming out. And then I also got the novella um, because it was in the discreet cover as well because I want them all matchy-matchy. So I picked that up. Then we have, now I've been tr meaning to get this for a while and I just didn't. Um, and it was only $13. So I was like, come on, you can shove that in there. So I finally got Christmas Cupid by Isla Madden Mills. I am so excited for this one. I think it's going to be really, really good. Um... I love Isla Madden Mills. She writes very fun characters and so, very witty. So I'm very excited for this. Then I got the next two books in... What is this series called? I've never looked it up. I just started reading it. 
What are you? I really don't know. I want to read these so bad. So this is book two and book three. I've already read book one, um, which was the autopsy of a fairy tale. So this one is called Forensics of a Fable, and this one is Kidnapping of a Myth, and they are by Nicole Serrano. Saccarano? I don't know how to say the last name properly, but um, basically it's... So on TikTok, she had it posted that it's like Criminal Minds meets um, fairy tale characters. And um, the first one is Beauty and the Beast retelling. It's really, really good. Um, so I'm very excited for these. This one's supposed to be Goldilocks. And this one, I think, is Peter Pan. So I'm really excited for these. There's a fourth book coming out. I will be ordering it because I actually love them a lot more than I thought I was going to. These are also thicker than the first one, so they're a little bit thicker than a snicker, but I'm very excited for these. So, that's those two. And then, the third one, so my lunch kit's still at home. We'll open that when I get home, because mom wants the box. Ah! Yes! Okay. I love Penelope Douglas. If you don't, that's fine. Like, if there's some books that you're like, Kalina, no, that's okay. But I love Penelope Douglas. I got Bully on sale through Book Outlet, and then I absorbed the whole series. So this is a spinoff. This is Pirate Girls. We've been waiting forever for these books. I also have pre-ordered Five Brothers by Penelope Douglas, but... Oh my god, she is thicker than a snicker. She is thicker than those. But, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And this will be a quick read because they're big words. And it's almost 600, it's 567 pages. But uh, Penelope Douglas books read really, really fast. So I'm very excited for this one. Oh, mm. and then, oh! I love the cover. I love the cover. So this is Face Off by Tegan Hunter. So Tegan Hunter writes very witty and funny books. And this is, I think these are the serpents. What are these called? It's been a while since I've read the first one. Anyways, I can't think of this one. But the third one comes out later this year. So I was like, I really want this one. And I was putting in a book order. I, I I shouldn't have put it in the book order, but let's be honest. I wanted this, so I ordered it right away, so it didn't become not available. So this was in that stack. And this is book two. Um, the first one is Body Check, which was really, really good, so I'm very excited. And they all have a really fun cover, and they all have a really fun front. Then, now this one's been in my cart for a while. I should have got it a while ago, but I didn't. And now I have it, so I'm ha very happy to add it to my collection. Read it and add it. And that is I'm Your Guy by Serena Bowen. If you want the queen of writing hockey romance, you need to look at Serena Bowen. She has some really, really great books. I'm very excited for that one. Then I had to have this one because I was waiting forever for her to write some more. Plus... We're waiting for the spinoff. Like, I'm sorry, but can I get the rest of the spinoff ones? But this one is If You Hate Me by Helena Hunting. Um, I don't think this is part of the Puck series and then the spinoff. But I am very excited to read this. Oh, that's so cute. But I really, really wanted this one when it came out. And it came out the day before Pirate Girl. So I added it to the cart. And then I... When that one came out, I brought that out. Well, that might have been a little bit before. Then, we have a whole freaking stack. So, let me get these in order. This one, this one, this one, this one. And there's still a book six. So, this is Age of the Vampires by Carolyn Peckham and Susan Valenti. So, I got... Two through five, these were expensive. These SOBs are between $25 to $30 a piece. Um, here's book two. 
here's book three, here's book four, and here's book five. And I think there's still a sixth book. Um, I'm not sure when that one comes out. Oh, that's a lie. I think it comes out in April here too. But I had to have them because um, I don't do drugs. I do books. They sniff better, let's be honest. They're expensive, but they're healthy. But they're not healthy because you'd rather sit there and read them all day. But I really, really like the first one. And then, because I got the first one because I was like, I don't know if I'm really, like, really going to like it. I did not like God of Ruin. It just, it didn't click with me. And I mean, it is what it is. Like, there's some books you're, you're like, just no. And that one was a big one that was just no. So, I got the first one. And I'm like, well, I'll read it, see if I like it. Loved it, had to get the rest, and that's where we're at. We also have Zodiac Academy, which I'm off on the day it comes, but it takes about a week for it to get to my house, and then by then I'll be working for my brother, so I won't be able to read it, but it will be on my TBR. Uh, I usually make a stack beside my bed of all the ones that I want to read for that month, which I should actually start taking you along my process. There's not really a process. It's whatever. I'm a mood reader. Like, there's some like this one. I really want to read it. But I might read it this one before this one kind of thing. So, that's my Amazon. You don't want to know how much it costs. You don't want to have a clue. It was very expensive. And I have expensive taste. Oh, okay. I know what these are. Come on in there. So, these are book outlet. And I only have two, and I only probably purchased two out of some of them. So the first one, now, don't hate on me, but I've never read it. Never even bothered to even want to read it, except for um, when it came out on Book Outlet. And it was, I think it was $11, and it's regular $40 in Canada or $30 in the U.S. And that is Archer's Voice by Maya Sheridan. But the reason why I got it is because it's the exclusive edition, sprayed edges, very, very fancy. Something that I could see adding to my shelf. So I definitely did buy that one. Um, it's an annotated special edition. Oh, it is too annotated. That's kind of cool. I don't annotate my books. Sorry, I just, I feel like I'm hurting them if I write in them or put stickers so just no so oh that can come off I hate stickers on books I know some people leave them and it doesn't bother them I take them off I don't want those stickers on there like I understand you got to put them on there it is what it is but can I tell you how no thank you keep your keep your stickers to something that actually needs them my books are not it. So I read the description on this and I said yes, then I said no, then I said yes, then I said no, then I said yes, then I said no. And finally I just, I had the archer's voice, so I'm like, you know what? Ooh, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. Um, so I finally put it in the cart and I just bought it and that is The Foxglove King by Hannah Witten. A lot of people really like this book. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not influenced by people. Sometimes. Sometimes I am. There's some where I'll watch the video and I'll be like, mm, maybe. Then I'll read the description. Then I'll go, no. Then I'll read the description. Then I'll go, maybe. And then finally I suck it up and I just do it. But this one, I finally decided I would try it. So here we are. Then... Okie dokie, we have the last one. Now, this one I don't remember what's in it because I ordered this before I ordered the Amazon. Oh, this also has. Oh, okay. I know what's in here. So, the first one I got was for. I have two nephews. Now, one of them's going to be more farmer than the other, but I got this little flap pop book for him, and it is a John Deere pop-up book so like it tells you so i got him that what about hair so that one's not mine i wish i still read like that those are cheaper uh but i did deliberately put this order in for this one which is 
My Roommate is a Vampire by Jenna Levine. Now, I didn't want to um, just pick it up at like Indigo or um, Amazon because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. And I did happen to see it on Book Outlet. So I left it in my cart. And of course, you know, people buy it and then it goes up not available. So it finally came back up. I had a couple things in my cart. So I said, you know what, let's order it. So I got that one. And then the last book. Now, I really don't know why I ordered this because I have the other copy. But I also didn't want to ruin my sprayed edges, which I'm probably still going to have to do to read the second book. But they had a really good deal. So I got Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. And this is just the plain Jane everyday one. And literally the only thing I got it for was so I could read it so I wouldn't ruin my sprayed edges. And I always own so... I wasn't even influenced by it, by other people. What influenced me was my own self. And I said, I want the sprayed edges. And it was this Christmas edition. So I was like, uh, I love Christmas. Sign me up. I bought it. Did I need it? No. Did I buy it? Yes. So I did happen to um, purchase that. And then, of course, the second one came out and it was sprayed edges. I'm like, you know what? I have one sprayed edge. I am not gonna not have the second one and that being said I've already pre-ordered the third one that I did not need now Amazon has some really pretty ones with the spray covers like Fallen Gods by uh Rachel Von Dyken I did pre-order that one they have a couple of others that I really really like too I just I him and haw and him and haw and him and haw as to whether I want to pre-order it or not so we'll see I might pre-order some of them but then it's also like, I'm not going to read the story inside. I'm just buying the sprayed edges. And it's like, why waste the money just to get the sprayed edges if I know I'm not going to read it? Hence, this one. Um, but the other ones just generally don't intrigue me. This one does a little bit because it does have a uh, sort of romance and has dragons in it. But this is more my style. Um, or... Uh, murder mystery is like a really big one right now like hell yeah send me those um more so like that one it has to have romance in it a little bit but also this bad boy so it's just kind of like yeah we'll see this is a floppy do you ever just go like it smells so nice <laughs> anyways i've blabbed for 20 minutes about this but that is my book haul. I hope you liked it. I hope it was something that you wanted to watch. I hope you wanted to see. Well, you didn't hope to want to see. But you got to see what I spend my money on. You know, there's that TikTok. I'm in severe credit card debt. Right there. <laughs> Between horses, dogs, cats, sheep, goat, and books. I think we're in severe credit card debt. But anyways, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to let you go. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, currently, right now, we have 507 of you, which is nutty. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Talim Joe. But, yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye-bye.